Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another update and today well I'm gonna continue doing what I what I started yesterday well that's what I've been doing and I've been adding the clumps and if you could see these see all I've been doing is just tapping out the pencil in between the the lines, the indentations And like I explained yesterday, like that gives the illusion of like individual hairs grouping together, clumping together. So I've been doing a throughout the drawing. So I've done it on the nose. And some at the top. Here, let me flip it over so you can see it better. Uh, it looks weird. I know it looks weird. It looks he looks like he's sick, but I promise you, it's gonna look better once I start darkening. So basically, what I what I do is I'll be using a five H pencil. And all I'm going to be doing is just darkening it, lightly darkening it. I'm going to darken the, the ends more. See, that suggests that these hairs are below these hairs. And these hairs at the top are casting a shadow on these hairs here. And then I'll just darken the surrounding shadows. I don't want to press too hard because then I'm going to lose the, the clump. And then once I do that, once I darken all the clumps, I'm going to go in and highlight individual hairs. Like these hairs right here. You see this one here? That one right there. I would, once everything else below it is darkened, I'll highlight this one and it'll stand out more. And then I'll just go around looking for these single, like loose hairs. Like this one, there's another one here, another one there. And they'll stand out more once I darken the hair below it. So from this point on, all I'm going to do is just darken these clumps. And then darken the shadows around it. So they stand out more. Like these drawings are are time consuming. They take a long time. And like I mentioned before, like some of the, these details people are not even going to recognize or notice, but I add them because I I don't know, I find them I find them that they're part of the the part of the hair, so why not add them? See, you see this individual hair right here? That one I'll, I'm gonna highlight. Once I darken the area, the hairs below. So all this I did, I added these clumps last night. I think it took me like, like around four hours. See from far you can see them more. But 
once I start darkening them, they're not going to be as noticeable. They'll still be there, but they're not going to stand out as much. There's a lot of steps that go into these, making these drawings. I'm very detail obsessed. I, lo I love detail. Like small, the smaller details, the, the better. I try to as add as much as possible. Like these small details, these are the ones that make the drawing look realistic. But you know what that like the reference picture it doesn't even look close to this these are my detail these are my I guess it's from experience things that I other drawings that I made whatever I feel that looks good I had it I love textures too I'm a big fan of textures so adding these clumps and shadows and highlights gives the drawing so much, so much texture. See, by darkening the area around it, like it looks like, like shadow, like layers. Like layers are more noticeable like you could tell right here like these hairs are below these hairs see and then I'm going to go in and then highlight single hairs that are that are going to be overlapping the hairs below You know, I want to see what you guys are drawing, what you guys are working on. If you guys are working on anything. So just head over to my Facebook fan page and just post stuff there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post uh, the link in the description below. So just head over there and post whatever you're working on. You know what, even on these uh, on these videos, it's hard to like appreciate like the amount of detail unless you see it in, in person. Like in person, you can see the all the little indentation, the shadows, the highlights. And hopefully, the camera captures a lot of these details. You know what, what I've always found interesting too? Is that because of the indentations, the light that hits the, the drawing on, a, on an angle, it casts a shadow. And that gives the drawing even, an even more, even more texture. So the light is coming from this side. And because of the lines, the indentation, it casts a shadow. So it adds an extra bit of a... Uh, shadows detail and if you change a light source from another angle it makes it look different
This one should be done in the next couple of days. I just love the texture that it, that it has. From the beginning, I had this idea that uh, this plan that I wanted the hair to look uh, messy, rough, like textured. And so far, I love the way it's looking. See down here, this, this side, I got to make sure that it's darker because it's under shadow. You know, recently I started using this uh, this tool. It's for manicures, but the tip, it's a silicone tip, and this is amazing for for blending pencil. Well, they do sell these, but they they're called um, color shapers, and they're used for uh, for painting. But I found this one. Uh, a dollar store and it's amazing for blending pencil you don't even need to put that much pressure see I use this for like for the darker areas I don't like you using it here on the later areas because it it spreads the pencil too much and it adds those black lines that I erased, it, it adds them again and I don't want that. So doing it this way with the pencil I can go in and and lightly darken whatever I want. Yeah, but that tool, that tool is amazing. I think it's cheaper than the, also the, the color shaper. I, I got it for in a pack. Pack of three for like five bucks or something. Like that. And the color shaper in each one, I think it's like ten dollars. So you see I'm just darkening the the ends. Just to suggest that, that these are under. I also I like adding my scars. Like any injuries that the tigers had and any fights and things like that. And the way I do that is I just darken. See, I just darken some 